Welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. Oh, y'all, it's a beautiful day in South Carolina, and of course, fall is in the air. Um, before we even get started today with the video, I want to tell you something. We forgot a very, very important birthday, and that birthday is <laughs> Sunday lunch at Mimi's. Y'all, my birth, my cookbook is one year old. And I can just hardly believe it. It has been an incredible journey. And what started out as an heirloom cookbook for my grandchildren now has turned into, I guess you would call it a business. So it has been just something that has been beyond belief. It has created so many memories, friends all around. Oh, y'all are just my family and I just love it. So I hope you're enjoying your edition as much as we enjoyed getting it together for you. When we were thinking about doing this video and celebrating the birthday of the cookbook, we thought, well, it would probably be good to go back and do one of the very first videos that we ever did. And it is one of the most watched videos that we ever did. And so if you have Sunday lunch at Mimi's, mm -hmm. turn to page 44. And we are going to do a very easy chicken and dressing casserole. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to use canned chicken. You can cook your own chicken if you would like. That is fine. But y'all, these recipes were intended to help young mothers do quick meals. And so, in order to do quick meals, then you've got to take some shortcuts. And so this is one of the shortcuts. All right, we start out with two cans of this chicken, um, chicken in the can, wait a minute, let me see. It's 12 ounces. And so, and y'all, this is the Walmart brand, which is just fine. There's several brands on the shelf that that you can use. And you and drained it? Did you drain it? I drained it. I'm sorry. My helper here is <laughs> keeping me on cue. And so what we're going to do is go break this chicken up just a little bit because it's so chunky. And Okay, I used two cans of that chicken and it's 12.5 ounces of chicken. And what I did, I drained it very good and then I broke it up here some so you wouldn't just get big old chunks. Now this is one can of cream of chicken soup. And what we're going to do is we're going to, and I just do it right here in the casserole dish, this particular part. And y'all, okay. Let's just kind of mix this around. You just want to be sure you get a little of that cream of chicken soup all the way around. Y'all, this, this casserole is so delicious and it is so easy. And I'll tell you, it is wonderful to take to someone, um, if you know somebody that's been sick or have some reason that they can't get out. Oh, this is a great casserole to take to them. Okay, the next thing we're going to add is this Pepperidge Farm Cornbread Classic Stuffing. Y'all, there's two or three of these on the shelf. Be sure you get the one that's in kind of this gold-colored package because it's the one that really tastes like cornbread and tastes like what you would expect dressing to taste like. And so it is 12 ounces, and I need to contact Pepperidge Farm and tell them to start making more of this. <laughs> People are having trouble finding it. I think it's because we're using so much of it. All right, we're going to empty that into our bowl. And y'all, I have learned a few things along the way. <laughs> to have my cans opened and to try to be a little more <laughs> quiet with my cooking. All right, now. My beloved butter. All right, this is one stick of salted butter. Just regular salted butter. Pour that in there and just 
mix that around a little bit. Now, the recipe calls for two cans of chicken broth. Well, I have learned you can buy it in the carton and it's a little less expensive. So we are going to, this is 32 ounces. Now, I'm not gonna use quite all of it. So, because um, that may be just a little bit too much, but what we'll do is we'll get this nice and moist. Okay. All right, just kind of mix this around a little bit and it will be just a little bit soupy because now when it cooks, it's gonna dry out some. Okay, I'm gonna pour this right here. Y'all, this is so easy. Oh my goodness, I could make this thing blindfolded, I do think. And y'all, I used, um, the recipe calls for two 14 ounce uh, cans of chicken broth. And that's about what I used in here. I did not use all of that carton because I didn't want it quite so soupy. Y'all, I used to make this. My husband loved this casserole. But I will tell you one thing. The time we made it, he said, where's the cranberry sauce? So be sure you have cranberry sauce on hand. <laughs> All right, now, I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> All right, we're going to put this in the oven. Just sit it right there. Set our timer on 30 minutes. Voila. Hey, y'all, you can't get any easier than that. That's a meal right there with a can of peas and cranberry sauce. <laughs> and so um, we'll just let this cook a little bit and we'll see when it comes out. Okay, the magic sound, y'all. All right, let's check this casserole out. Now I want to show you something. See how that's bubbling right there? See over there? That pretty much lets you know that this is done. So we're going to take it out. Put it right over here. Ooh, y'all. Mm, that looks and smells so good. Let me close my oven. Okay, y'all, while this cool, while this is cooling, I just want to tell you, this is my own copy of the cookbook. <laughs> and y'all, I mean, it is, you can tell I have really been using it. And you know what? I never realized, but I did this for myself as much as I did for anybody. All of these recipes were scattered everywhere. And some I had on my mind. Some I had in a folder, some on napkins, some were stuck behind a plate. I mean, you name it, they were there. And so every time I wanted to make them, I had to go through and find that recipe. I don't know all of them by heart. Now, if you're looking for a good idea for a gift, say for a newlywed or a housewarming, any of those kind of things, this would make a wonderful gift for your friends. And y'all, this cookbook is just, it, it's so easy. It's just recipes that are simple. They have just good Southern flavor. And so it's just something that's just easy. Not only that, you can tell them about my page and then they can go and look um, on the videos to see how these things are put together. Okay, now let's, let's dip up some of this. All right. Oh, y'all. Now see how moist that is? Mm -hmm. Now I'm sure this is not going to replace your Thanksgiving dinner and don't think I'm even suggesting that. But for people who are looking for a quick recipe for a quick casserole, you just can't beat this one. It, it is just wonderful. And um, it tastes good. And by your comments, I think a lot of you are using this as your go-to <laughs> because it's just easy to do and just whip up just in a matter of a few minutes. And with a couple of side dishes, hey, you've got a meal. And listen, you can't get much easier than that. Now, I'd like to remind you, 
if you're thinking about giving the cookbook, and I'm not trying to make this a commercial, y'all, but if you are thinking about using the cookbook, I would encourage you to get your orders in early. We've just received a shipment, and, you know, we never know what the delivery process is going to be like. That is beyond our control. So uh, order early so that you can get it done, so you can get it put together. And um and share these wonderful recipes with your friends. Okay, y'all, I tasted it, and it is still one of my favorite casseroles. And I think it's one of yours, too. And I can tell by that, by the number of views that we've had. And y'all, this tells us the power of a share. If you share anything... Share something that's hopeful, that's helpful, that's uplifting. And thank you for being a part of sharing some of my recipes. And everybody, remember, shine for Jesus.